Are you excited for your first slumber party, Carly? <laughs> Actually, Mom, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, sweetie, you are going to have so much fun. You're going to stay up late, tell spooky stories, gossip about boys. <laughs> you have nothing to be nervous about, sweetie. You're right, Mom. Thank you. Of course. And if one of the girls suggests, well, I don't know, that maybe you all measure the sizes of your vaginas with a pencil, <laughs> you don't have to do that. I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> Should I be worried about that? No, no. It's just you know how girls are. You're going to be staying up late, goofing around, and sooner or later someone's going to want to break out a ruler and compare sizes. <laughs> what? I had no idea. Honey, yeah. I don't remember one slumber party I went to where I didn't make every girl, one by one, <laughs> measure the depth of her vagina with a number two pencil. Wait, you did that? Oh my God, you're going to want to bring a snack. <laughs> They're healthy and easy to share. Oh, and honey, if you do put them in your vagina, make sure to get a count going in and on the way out. Ew! Gross! Why? It's a slumber party! Once you get depth, you're gonna wanna do volume. But honey, <laughs> just because all the girls are putting grapes in their vaginas, doesn't mean you need to put grapes in your vagina, okay? Unless you want to. I could do 16. <laughs> Mom, you're making me feel weird. It's like you're peer pressuring me to put grapes into my vagina. No, no, I am just telling you what to look out for. You know how girls are. Honey, don't forget the rest of your thing. What thing? I have the... Oh, okay. I'm only going for one night. Oh. Mom, I don't play the keyboard. <laughs> huh? I, why do I need all this stuff? Oh, no reason. It's just, if it were me, I would probably dare all the girls to stick it up their vaginas. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That is horrible. That's what I am saying. Girls can be so mean. No, Mom. No, you're mean. You're a mean person. And you owe all of those ladies an apology. No, the real problem is peer pressure. If those girls' mom had just sat them down and given them this chalk, none of this would have happened. Mom, it doesn't make any sense. This isn't normal. That's not even what peer pressure is. Yes, it is, and it's how it's always been. When I was your age in Catholic school, I made Mother Superior stick six rosaries up her cooter. <laughs> when I joined a sorority, I made all the freshman pledges stick 12 badminton shuttlecocks up their vajayjays. <laughs> Even the other week, at the grocery store, I saw Mrs. Coleman. My English teacher? Mm -hmm. And I looked her right in the eye and I said, I bet you can't shove this five pound sack of potato up your juice box. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? She fucking did it. <laughs> Still got it! <laughs>